you know, I think what was lost in that interview um, and co will continue to be lost if we don't address it is the fact that this happened because of the murder of Michael Brown. And, um, you know, I wrote a blog about it on medium.com. I wrote a piece called uh, The Point That Went Missing um, about my conversation with Don Lemon to really try to articulate the point I was trying to make and also bring the focus back to police brutality and Mike Brown uh, losing his life at the hands of law enforcement that we pay with our tax dollars. You know, I think it's, um, I think the, the report that the Department of Justice put out uh, exemplifies some of the points that I was trying to make to Don Lemon that he wasn't trying to hear me on. And I think what got caught, what it became, it became about people thinking that I cared about whether or not he knew who I was. And it wasn't that at all. No. It wasn't that at all. I saw it. It wasn't that. Yeah, I mean, it's like when you have a conversation with somebody, if you know who they are, you have some sort of respect for their position, even if you don't agree with them, if you know who they are, you're going to approach the conversation differently. If you don't, you're not going to really have any patience or respect for what somebody's trying to say. So when I see, you know, Don Lemon interview somebody he knows or has heard of, the energy is different than some rapper in the streets in Ferguson. You know, I, and I feel like that's what was going on. Um, he was representing uh, the official story, and too often when mainstream media, and I think CNN tries at least harder than Fox News, but tries a little bit to give a fair and balanced story, but by the nature of the fact that they're in the mainstream media, the job is to treat the official story with more relevance and weight than the story of just people on the ground and in the street. So when, when, I, when, some, when someone on the ground is like, I saw this and that, it's Don Lemon's job in that position to be like, well, police say this is the official story. And that's what he's taught in journalism school. So that's, that's where he was approaching it at, but I just wasn't in the mood to hear that at that moment. In my humble opinion, I feel that the conversation between you and Don was a missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. Um, and I say that because, because if you follow, follow me or anyone watching, I hate that race comes up in a lot of stuff because I think it gets in the way of, of whatever. But in this case, I feel it was a missed opportunity between two men of color in their own worlds with weight being able to comment on this incident that happened to a man of color in this crime of color. And it, it, if it would have been as impactful as I wanted to in my head, you and Don would have had this amazing interaction where he would have heard everything that you had to say. You would have heard him. You guys would have come together and maybe something could have been spawned out of that instead of the conversation being about, well, why, why was the guy so mad that Don didn't know who, who, who he was? Right. And that was a little disappointing to, to me just on a, on a human level. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.